like to spend a moment and talk about melodic motion etude number one. This is something I published, I think, last July 2022. It's a great one for the ears, for the hands, for having to keep some kind of a rhythmic pulse going in continuity, and for just hearing the sound of 1-5-1. One, one. Here we're going to be outlining A minor. and imp implying E7 with a third in the bass. This is G sharp. Before we get to it, if you haven't yet done so, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Please like, share, and leave a comment. If you'd like to make a donation, my PayPal info is there in the description. And let's get started here. So we're gonna have a melodic sequence. That's the whole line. And every few notes, we're gonna shift bass notes to make it sound like it's going from A minor to E7. That's basically what's happening. So A and E, this is fifth and first string. We dip into the second. E, D, C, E. And here we're using, as is often the case with this style, second finger on the bass. It allows us to play notes on this side of the finger towards the nut and on this side of the finger towards the bridge. And that's what we need in this situation here to make this melodic line smooth. If we tried other fingerings, we'd end up either barring, in which case notes might carry over one to another. And I think we want separation in this kind of line. So we're using this kind of second fingering position. E, D, C, E. So 12 and 12. 12, 10, 13, 12. Our next line. 11 and 10, this is the E7 over G sharp first inversion. And we're going 11, 10, 13, 12, 10. And now we dip into fifth and second. A minor, A and C, 12 and 13, 12 and 12. 1210 back up to where we started. So 12 and 13. This is one of those lines, if we had to call it, we'd say it's upper note, middle note, lower note, upper note. Upper, middle, lower, middle. As with these kinds of patterns, we could have low, high, middle, high. We could have low, middle, low, high. So there's some mathematical combinations you can work out there of all the permutations of three notes. Using low, middle, and high as a way to identify them. Now we're here at A minor. And now we need second and third finger again, 11 and 12, G sharp and B, 10 is A, down to G sharp on the third string, 13th fret, back up to B at the 12th fret of the second string. And now A and A, 12 and 10. So we're just walking up low, middle, high, low. 12, 10, 12, 12, 12, 13, 12, 10. Really though, this is a line you wanna be able to know the formula, which is bass is moving down a half step and back, and we're trying to melodically follow this pattern. So 
now we have to ascend in A minor. Again, low, middle, high, low. Now we're getting back on the first string. Now G sharp and B, 11 and 12, with a C passing, D, 10th fret of the first string, back to B, 12th fret. Now we're almost there. A and C, 12 and 13, D, D, E, C. And I hope you're kind of seeing the scale. It's, it's A harmonic minor. A and C, D, E, C, and now final. G sharp and D, E, 12, F flat 9, 13th fret of the first string. Hearing it this many times, I hope it's ingrained in the brain. We could... Uh, do it in another key, E minor. I don't feel like I'm thinking of the notes or anything. I'm listening to the sound and I've made the connection between my ears and my fingers strong enough that they're just outlining this. I'm not thinking of the pattern really. It's just a feeling of following this melody and doing many, many little exercises like this. The melodic motion etudes are basically all these kinds of little exercises that one does to get proficiency in this style. I've mentioned it before in comments, but I don't know if I've mentioned it in a lesson. And that is, I feel like in the Baroque improv video of Ted Green, he really says the whole thing right there at the beginning when Steve asks him, about getting into this style and Ted says when Steve asks how do you get proficiency in this style Ted says by playing thousands and then he stops and he says you know hundreds of little things that's why I started my channel is to collect up the kinds of hundreds of little things the little studies that work your ears work your fingers and get these kinds of shapes patterns fingerboard relationships, tonal relationships, progressions into your head, into your ear, and into your hand. It takes some time, but if you stick with it, particularly the melodic motion etudes, you'll get a lot of proficiency quick. I've seen it happen with folks. So uh, for E minor, what if we started on the inside? Started on five and two. do that without even, if you've learned this one here, you wouldn't even have to think about it too much. Here's a little transition from making E minor, from E minor into E7 going to A minor. So here's E minor. Now we need E and G sharp, and we've introduced <clears throat> the note that will define A harmonic minor. This is that G sharp, the leading tone of A. So here's 7 and 9, E and G sharp. And G sharp and B with a D on top. I'm having to use 2nd and 4th finger 
on 11 and 12 G sharp and B with first finger catching the D up there at 10th fret because we need second finger to be in line to play the bass line. And we're there into A minor. I hope this has been interesting and fun. Maybe you've found a pattern that you can get into your own practice schedule or improvisation repertoire. I hope this finds you very well and enjoying your music, and I wish you a very good day.